queen of this moment. I will never be a lead again, and this is my one moment to fame. Girl, we're gonna make being on this. Let's, no, don't lie. It's not about being a lead. It's about being on the camera behind the curtain. It's That's the so point. It's so true. I literally just have to be like, I've been dreaming of this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, my name is Laura Petraco from Camera Behind the Curtain, and I am here at the Stained Glass Theater in Newport, Kentucky, home of the Footlighters Incorporated, where they will be presenting their production of All Shook Up. I am here with Kate Crotty, one of the stars of the show. Um, we are going to be getting to know Kate, getting to know her character, and maybe playing a few games or two. So stick around, because we are going to center stage. Kate, you play Natalie in All Shook Up. Tell me a little bit about your character. So Natalie is like late teens, early 20s. Um, she lives with her dad who owns a shop, like a motorcycle shop, car shop, all that kind of stuff. So she's a female mechanic. Um, and this roustabout comes to town and he wants to change the town completely. And she ends up falling in love with him. Little does she know that Dennis, her best friend, is actually in love with her. So then she goes undercover as Ed to figure out what kind of a woman that Chad likes. Mm -hmm. It's an inside scoop. Yes, it's, it's, it's intense. Alright, yes. so all of us have had crushes oh goodness, in our lives. I have, you have, everybody has. So um, I need to know, what is something either crazy, special, weird, whatever, that you have done to get your crushes attention? Oh goodness, okay. Uh, so remember when like MySpace was a thing? Yes. Okay, so I used to like put them in my top eight, but not too high so that they didn't think like I was like really like stalkerish creepy. Yep. So I'd put them up there, right? And then like in my about me, if we were like low key like crushes or something, I'd be like in love with an Abercrombie boy or in love <laughs> with a Hollister boy. Like I was really creepy in middle school. There okay. she is, <laughs> MySpace. Everyone knows that this show is entirely classic Elvis songs. Um, give me your best Elvis impression. Okay, so I got actually a fun fact really quick. I used to be obsessed with Elvis Presley, like okay. to the point where like in the fourth grade I dressed up as him. Wait, 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 just because? <laughs> oh no, it was for a project. Um, we had to pick someone famous. And you know, people picked like Harriet Tubman or like George Washington. No, I picked Elvis Presley. He's important. Uh, yeah, with those banana and peanut butter grilled sandwiches. Anyway, so I had to like do a whole speech on him and I did it in his voice as well as I could as little, yes. you know, fourth grade Kate could. But I ended yes. it with, <clears throat> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> with the wink and everything. <laughs> she got it. Kate, we're gonna veer off the path a little bit here. If you were a type of cheese, what cheese would you be? String cheese. <laughs> On spot, she's ready to go. Why string cheese? So you can peel me like a banana. That's a line from the show. Isn't there a dance for the banana? Peel banana, peel, peel banana. Something like that. <laughs> if you were a spice girl, which spice would you be? Selfie spice. That is so good. I take a lot of selfies. So, if you look on my Instagram information, it says theater, my cat, and selfies, pizza. Yes. That's me in a nutshell. Pizza spice. No, 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 no. <laughs> it would have to be like pizza and taco spice then, because I love both of those things. That's or like true. pizza, taco, pasta spice. And then like that's all through my favorite. Or pizza, taco, pasta, ice cream spice, and that like literally How makes me a food spice. spice. No, no, because I don't <laughs> like a lot of foods. Okay, we'll go back to the selfie spice. I like it. <laughs> now is the time that me and Kate play a game. The game we are playing this time is called The Question Conversation. And the way this game works is, it's an improv game, and the only way that we can respond to each other is if we answer with a question. Are you ready to play? I was born ready to play. Ooh, that was born a good thing about the show. Oh, yeah. It was good. Auto Were you a roustabout? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, you're going first. Yeah. Start off with a question. Do you like pie? I don't know, do you? Do you like Jesse Mueller? Are you okay? Do you like pasta? 
Do you have something in your eye? Have you ever been to Footlighters before? Have you? Have you ever auditioned for them before? Are you feeling okay? Do you know who Amanda Shumate is? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good I am so bad at improv. I have a degree in theater. Okay, round two. Let's see if I can do any better. <laughs> okay. Can you feel the love? Have you ever been to New York City? Have you ever touched a chicken? What's your favorite pizza? Do you like pizza? Do you like cows? Have you ever felt a fan? Have you ever seen a cow? Have you spoken to a microphone? Have you ever dyed your hair? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Have you ever parked on the yellow part of the curb out there and gotten a ticket? I, uh, what? <laughs> I have. <laughs> Round three. You start. Did you know that Footlighters is haunted? Have you ever seen Mario? Have you ever been up on the stage? Do you like chicken? Do you like pasta? <laughs> Have you ever told time? Do you wear two watches at once? <laughs> I'm competitive. She wins every time. This is something. <laughs> well, that's the question conversation, and I need to practice. <laughs> Kate, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. The show is all shook up. Tell them where they can get tickets. You can get tickets at footlighters.org or you can call 859-652-3849. We run May 4th through the 20th. Come and get shook with us. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time on Camera Behind the Curtain.